Hi, this is Stephanie Ward of Firefly Coaching. I'm here with Dr. Cherie Carter-Scott. Her website is drcherie.com. And she's going to share some of her best marketing tips for entrepreneurs and small business owners. The first thing you want to do is find out who you are and what you love and what you're really good at. If you discover what you're really good at, what you love, and you allow yourself to do it, that's the most important thing. The reason it's so important is because you will be excited, enthusiastic, and passionate when you talk about it. Not only today or tomorrow, it's not just a good idea or some way to make you money. It's something that's in your heart, it's in your soul. It's something that makes your blood boil and gets you out of bed in the morning. So the most important marketing idea is to align who you are with what you do and allow your heart to speak to you. So we were talking earlier about how after you had your first client, the phone just started ringing and that was because you, you delivered such phenomenal work. Is that still the case today? If you do what you love and it's truly your heart speaking, then you have to do it with integrity, with ethics, with 100% of you. You have to dedicate yourself to that mission that's in your DNA. If you dedicate yourself to that and ensure that every single client is not only happy and satisfied, but that you've exceeded their expectations to make them absolutely delighted with your service, not only will you have a client for life, but you'll have a client who's speaking your praises for life. That is the second tip. Make certain that you deliver outstanding service, the very best that you're capable of. And if they're not happy, make them happy. Don't ever let a client leave you that isn't happy. Have you had that experience that someone wasn't happy that you had to make it right or? Yes, of course. And, and how did you have, make it right? We have exceeded all their expectations. We've gone to the mat for them. We've even been willing to lose money as a result. Give them their money back, 100% of it. But do not allow someone to leave your service, whether it's a product, whether it's a service you're offering, do not let them leave unhappy. That word of mouth will spread and it will be like a poison. And that, avoiding that, it's your most important marketing strategy because you want people to sing your praises forever. And when you have satisfied clients, uh, do you ask them for testimonials and use those as well? You know, it's a subtle way to ask for a testimonial. If you ask it too prematurely, it sounds a little bit like you're needy and manipulative. But when somebody says to you, after you've done an outstanding job, thank you. Thank you so much. I so appreciate what you did. You stop me and you say, you know, your words mean so much to me. Would it be possible for you to put them on paper, on your letterhead? Would that be possible? And if they're reticent, you can say, well, I think I understood what you're saying, and I can pop you an email with what I remember, but then you can edit it if that's okay. When you do that, you honor the person because you allow them to express themselves and you capture their words and you give them back to them. It helps them validate their reality and it also is a great tool for you to be able to say, look at what this company said about me. Look at what this person said about me. So everybody wins in that process, but you don't want to be pushy. You want to listen to the right timing because timing is everything when gathering testimonials. That's fantastic. Do you have any other tips or pitfalls that people should avoid when they're marketing their business? You know, Gandhi was a person who said, we are in business for the customer. So if you are in too much of a hurry, if it's an imposition, if they're asking you something that's really making you feel irritated or um, unhappy, remember, they're the reason you're in business. You are in business to serve and support this person. So nothing that they ask or request should be too much or too unpleasant or too difficult for you. Just remember, an attitude of gratitude goes a long way when you're serving and supporting your clients. Thank you so much for this interview.
My pleasure.